Nitrogenase is an enzyme complex encoded by many bacteria that is able to fix nitrogen from air and reduce it to ammonia. In this study, Voigt and co-workers refactored the nitrogen fixation gene cluster from Klebsiella. The ultimate goal is to make these genes portable such that the nitrogen fixation phenotype can be transferred to other organisms such as plants. In these experiments, they demonstrate the first steps of the process wherein they are able to functionally replace the Klebsiella cluster with the refactored copy. Nitrogenase is a multi-enzyme complex composed of a heterotetrameric molybdenum iron protein and a homodimeric iron protein. The reaction catalyzed by nitrogenase involves reduction of nitrogen with the consumption of ATP to produce ammonia and release hydrogen gas. Reactions like this are usually quite challenging to catalyze. The substrate, N2, is very small and stable, so it is challenging to have an active site that can bind to it. Enzymes that react with very small molecules like gases typically employ a metal center, and for nitrogenase this involves a complicated complex of molybdenum, iron, and sulfur. It isn't essential that you understand the chemistry to understand this paper. Suffice it to say, nitrogen binds to one of the iron centers and then electrons and protons are transferred iteratively until the N2 molecule is fully reduced to two ammonia molecules. What is important to understand is that iron sulfur centers are often very challenging to transfer out of their native context. They require their own set of enzymes for biosynthesis and their own optimization of expression. In their native context, the scaffolding proteins NIFJ and NIFF are expressed at low levels, and when you attempt to overexpress them, activity drops rapidly. The NIF USVWZM genes in army green are responsible for biosynthesis of the smaller iron sulfur clusters. The NIF BQ genes in forest green are responsible for formation of the iron molybdenum core. These enzymes are natively expressed tenfold higher than the scaffolding genes. There are additional genes such as NIF L and NIF A that play regulatory roles within the cluster and thus would be removed during refactoring. In their experiment, the authors start with the wild type sequence, extract out the open reading frames, and then remove unwanted genes. They remove any genes that through genetics experiments are known to be non-essential for the function of the cluster. They also remove any regulatory genes such that only the functional components of the cluster remain. They then randomize the codons in these open reading frames and reassemble synthetic operons with synthetic promoters. The only ambiguous questions to be answered are what ribosome binding sites, promoter strengths, or novel regulation to put into the circuit. This last aspect ultimately is the engineering challenge of such an effort. It would be difficult to do a fully combinatorial sampling of the space. For even two choices of ribosome binding site at each position, there are 17 genes and thus 2 to the 17th or 132,000 permutations and most likely more than two choices of RBS would be required to find a good optimum. This question of how to choose the regulation is ultimately the subject of research. In later papers, the Voigt team has taken other optimization strategies that have been more effective in finding the optimum. This experiment, however, gives some notion to the complexity of the fitness landscape. First, they use the RBS calculator to pick a single ribosome binding site for each gene that is predicted to be in the ballpark of the native construct's ribosome binding strength. They then systematically vary the promoter for each operon and examine whether that operon complements a knockout of the corresponding genes in the native cluster. In each chart, the promoter in front of one operon is being systematically varied, and the nitrogenase activity of each synthetic cluster is the y-axis. What is clear is that the expression level of several of the operons affect the overall activity and have very narrow optima.